those hills and plains behind me are Cambodia. From 2008 until 2011, the Thais and the Cambodians were firing artillery at one another. Fire! Yeah, baby! <laughs> I started the series of videos in Ayutthaya. I had read a, uh, an historical document written by a merchant sea captain from Great Britain by the name of Alexander Hamilton. No relationship to the American. And Alexander had, so, had observed some really interesting stuff. And one of the things that he saw in 1719 when he was in Ayutthaya was the Siamese king um, manipulating another merchant ship that was armed, an armed British ship. And the king of Siam kind of manipulated that crew into military service against the Cambodians. So that was 1719. They were uh, shooting at each other back and forth then. So I started this video out in uh, Sarabori, which was the location of my very last video where I talked a little bit about the Friendship Road. But that was the beginning of this, and we drove up into uh, Buri Ram, where we had a nice little picnic uh, with a couple of friends, and um, spent the day in a very pleasant part of the country. It's mostly rice farms, although I have spotted some rubber trees and some sugar crops as well, but it's primarily rice fields around here because you have flat farmable land. And then as you get further out of Buri Ram and into Sisaket province, uh, you, you, we came up here to these highlands because I wanted to visit this site of where the Thais and the Cambodians were most recently shooting at each other. You know, because I have this uh, notion that there still is kind of an animosity reflected in the greater Thai culture toward Cambodians. Now, the Thais don't speak ill about anybody. They're very polite, and, you know, saving face means that you don't talk badly about people. You don't embarrass anybody else, so it's hard to really dig into it. But I... <laughs> um, Bulilam. Yeah? Yes. Bulilam. Sulin. Uh-huh. have to say, uh, defend Isan uh -huh. and Kampusha. Uh-huh. But Sisaket not defend. Sisaket have to say, uh, Isan. Kampusha, a little bit, not, 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 not too much, not the same Buriram and Surin. Okay. So Buriram and Surin is like Cambodia? Yes. yes. But I've just seen enough evidence in the time I've been researching this video to really kind of grasp that the people in, in the Central Thai region, Bangkok and that region, um, have kind of a... I don't know, you know, it's, it's not that they're angry at them, but there's, they, they don't really love the Cambodian influence that exists here. Now, there is, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it. I'm trying to point to it. Off in the distance, there's a little bit of a building complex sticking out of the woods there. And I think that's the Thai, the uh, Cambodian temple that they were fighting over. But yeah, they were shooting at each other up here. Now, what's interesting to me is as I was putting this video together and doing my homework to, you know, have something to talk about in a hopefully intelligent fashion, bald and bankrupt, most of you will know him, put up a video that he was shooting in Cambodia looking this way. <laughs> this village was chosen deliberately because the views it afforded them here, out over Cambodia. So, you know, Bald is doing a video. Now, I, you know, am not really in his category of video makers. He has hundreds of thousands. I think he might even have a million subscribers. He has a whole lot of subscribers, a whole lot more than me. So I'm not in his category of video maker. But he's traveling with his sidekick, Backpacker Ben. And I'm going to make a very bold claim here that my sidekick at least aesthetically speaking, is way better than his sidekick. You think, Boa Cow? <laughs> and they keep an army presence up here as well. The 
There's the lads lining up at ease. <laughs> yeah, and they still keep uh, the guns ready, I suppose. <laughs> uh, but mostly they're just entertaining my sidekick. <laughs> I'm on my way back to Bangkok and I just passed through the region that used to be known as Dom Paya Phai, which is a mountainous jungle region that created a natural barrier between Isan and central Thailand where Bangkok is. And maybe just over a hundred years ago, it was a formidable barrier for people to pass through. And that's not that long ago. In Joe Rogan math, that's like two people ago. And until they built railways and eventually roads through that area, it was difficult to pass through. And that added to the unique distinction of Isan. Now on this particular trip, I wound up shooting my video in uh, Sisaket province, which is bordering Cambodia. And I got to see a little bit more of the very distinct culture of Thailand in these regional areas. And the more you look into it, the more I delve into it, the more I find, you know, really interesting cultural distinctions out here in the countryside. I stopped at this, this interesting looking Wat temple because I figured I could find a quiet place to shoot a little clip to end the video with. And my intention was to go up to the top there. There was a uh, interesting looking stupa up on the top of the mountain. But uh, going up the stairs, I was confronted by th these little bastards. I don't like monkeys. And there's, there's uh, a horde of them here. There's only one sitting in front of me, probably waiting for me to give her something to eat. Uh, and there's also a couple of nasty dogs that seem to be guarding the stairway. I just thought I'd shoot it from down here and get out of Dodge. <laughs> so yeah, um, one of the things that this trip did for me is it really um, uh, gave me much more of an interest in Cambodia. So I can see some Cambodian trips in my not too distant future to take a look at that because I found the Cambodian influence on Sisaket province to be um, significant and interesting. And as I looked at uh, uh, Bald and Bankrupt's video uh, that I mentioned earlier in this video, uh, it, it just kind of, you know, gave me a little bit more interest. I, I mean, you know, that Angkor Wat uh, city, that culture, the Khmer culture was the l largest city on the planet back when it was an operating city. And, it, you know, it was a it was a culture, it was an empire. They called it the Khmer Empire. It was huge. And um, we're talking, I think, the 12th century that they were at their peak. So, you know, that's an interesting cultural base for a country to have grown out of. Now, Cambodia has had some really bad times in the 20th century, uh, but we all know about that, the Pol Pot regime. Uh, however, it seems to be an interesting place to go visit, find out what's going on there. So I think I'm gonna be doing that soon as well still here watching thanks for watching and i'll see you soon <laughs> in addition to all that farmland i've come across a smattering of cattle that have a uh, a curious resemblance to jar jar binks <laughs>